Welcome, Sag. This is going to be your no contact reading. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, I do have openings for October. You could click in the description box below to set your appointment. All right, so we have the Spirit of Wands or maybe some lack of motivation here or like a spark is gone. Just feeling like, uh, I'm just going to go work or, you know, <laughs> the Queen of Rings is mostly like that. It's very grounding energy. But the spark, it's like the adventure part. So the Spirit of Wands in the reverse is kind of feeling either like a little bit rejected in a way or just uninspired. Just feeling like blocked, not interested in things like you used to be, feeling a little bit unfocused, but I feel like you're still doing your part as in like nurturing, loving, being generous, being like grounding, being still. So I do see that. Yeah, the star is like needing to heal from something for sure. So you may be healing from this, okay? Because when we have the star in the reverse, there's like a despair, feeling a little lack of faith, maybe because out of boredom, uh, again, a lack of inspiration. We do have the eight of wands energy coming in too. So this could play a big part. Maybe there's no communication coming in, not really talking to people right now or talking to anyone. Uh, there's just stagnant energy in a way with that eight of uh, wands just kind of waiting feeling frustrated kind of losing momentum that's what i'm seeing for some but i feel it's because you're healing you're healing from something but what's beautiful is that you're you're very you don't really need anybody anyways you're very independent you're very abundant within so i feel like you're you pick yourself up but the things around you even though you're still moving it just feels like ugh, you know <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, you're healing. You're healing. You're at this star. There's wishes coming in. There's renewal. There's hope. There's faith again. You are powerful, okay? You're a divine being. So this, there's a sense of peace coming in here as you're, as a new cycle is beginning, okay? Things are, you're being guided to a brighter future and you need to have faith that it's going to be bright because Thing, this is where dreams come true. This is where you're leading to your wishes, your desires. There is some, t at the temperance card, there's something here in this person's energy. We have the nine of swords. So a lot in the mind. Someone may be struggling in the mind here, very losing sleep. Okay. We do have this knight of pentacles, stinking. I don't know. We have the nine of cups. Okay. And justice. So justice is coming in the reading now, and usually what justice brings is karma, it is like truth, balance, breakthroughs. Uh, this could be legal matters or anything like that, but justice is here. So there may be like something that feels unfair, but I feel like you're surrendering something. You surrendered, you got back on track, and you're going towards your Ten of Cups. So we'll just see how this person is, the person you're not in contact with or wondering about. But let's get this star. Yeah, see, there's a sense of like, oh, I don't have much right now. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Maybe just feeling like, you know, maybe there's still conflict about the past. Just, you know, and I feel like you're healing from it. Maybe there's a lot of challenges or obstacles here. But the Six of Cups, it could be triggered, you know, triggered by memories. Maybe trying to release something that you felt you did wrong in the past or, you know, but it's like processing and healing, right? You're coming, you come so far that your past is not define you or anything. So this is you making peace with the past and it may be challenging. Um, but the Four of Cups is like, this made you very unhappy. It feels like somebody wants to collaborate, make peace with you here. The Empress is feeling very low energy, okay? I feel that you may be exhausted here. It looks like this person looks at you as the Empress. This Four of Swords, whatever separated, it feels like you may have cut somebody off um, and now you're in this healing phase, but there's somebody in their mind, a lot in their mind with the Nine of Swords. With the two of coins energy, it does show that somebody was going back and forth with their struggling to do the right thing 
within the connection, which I feel it caused a lot of indecisiveness to where you just cut off this energy. This person feels like there's an injustice, something's unfair. They feel like something's unfair and they're becoming a pretty unstable about it, okay? They feel like they know you're the queen of coins, though. They're thinking about you. They know you are. This is more of that earth energy. They know you're very independent. You don't need anybody anyways, but they feel like something's unfair. They can say whatever they want to. They seem to be a very dishonest person. The Queen of Cups. This person is hard to move forward because they're moody. I'm getting the King of the the Knight of Coins over and over again. This Knight is lazy, my friends. They have nothing but broken promises to offer you. They're flaky. They set people off. They're angry. All like it just seems like they have problems, money problems, mixed problems. They're, they're it, It's hard. This energy is just all over the place. They could be very moody. Not they don't even want to understand what they did on their side okay yeah and even with the foyer coins i feel like you're just you know i feel in the near future there's something about you moving forward because in their actions they're moody they're not even trying to make anything right it looks like they're just making excuses for themselves and they're triggered by you but we do have this justice card and it looks like somebody wants to come towards you there's something about somebody wanting them to come towards you because they can't handle this Nine of Swords. And they're feeling isolated and alone. Okay, so there is some justice coming in because in the near future, it feels like you, you're you like, like, how do you say this? I don't know if somebody's like over spending on their desires or what i don't know but it just shows this knight of cups trying to come in because they're feeling isolated they're feeling very very lonely but this gives some type of justice okay something like that there's some type of justice but remember there's somebody here with the devil that's the that's also what's happening so someone's obsessing here literally obsessing I know you're not the devil. Looks like you're trying to heal from the past and it's kind of boring right now because of the spirit of wands. Like, I don't have motivation. I don't know if I want to do it. Like, ugh, you know, <laughs> kind of losing faith. Like, eh. But I feel like yeah, this person is really obsessing. And they're, <clears throat> looks like they're curious on what you're doing. They don't feel like they have justice. Let's get the, let's get the dark confessions. The devil is obsessing. This person's going back and forth, back and forth. I have lost faith in you and I cannot see a future with you anymore. I'm finally seeing my worth, yet I still feel unworthy of your love. I'm not sure I can meet your expectations. The pressure is too much for me. Okay, fine. They don't see a future. Well, I don't think you see a future with this person who's playing with devil energy anyways. This person is so messed up. I don't even think they even see a future for themselves. Sorry, they really triggered me. Because I feel that they, they lost faith in themselves because they couldn't own up to what they had to do in this connection. And then so that seems like they're blaming you. So they're just obsessively thinking and trying to justify their actions without taking accountability. And this person has zero worth. So they may be getting their feel like feeling that they're worth worth, but they feel unworthy around you. So I feel like this was basically somebody who is a bit envious of you. Okay, because you're picking yourself back up. You're still working, you're still grounding yourself, you're still doing what you gotta do. And this person seems to just be laying down, unmotivated, lazy, not doing anything from themselves, and just obsessing. Like, I rather be you. <laughs> I don't want to be this, but it's because they did something injustice. They're dishonest. That's why. There's going to be the one hurting always in the end. The one who did the most, I feel, hurts more in the beginning. And the one who did the less hurts later. Because you're not going to find the Empress's love anywhere. Anywhere. We both know I'm not the one for you. Yeah. Well, my life is not my life is not as together as it seems. I'm starting to understand our connection. I hid who I really am from you. Exactly. This person knows 
Like they, they see their words if you're not around because you remind them of what they need to do. You're the empress. You're the queen of rings. You're the truthful one, okay? So this person here needs to get their life together or meet somebody at their low level. It does show the Knight of Cups those coming in, but I honestly do not feel like, I feel like you're gonna get the justice, but you're not, it's like, but this, how all this person's coming in, romantic and stuff like that, I don't know who that is, but they're coming out of hermit mode and they're isolating themselves. So they're coming from a lonely place and they're wanting some type of justice, some type of communication. Will you give me a second chance? I wish I can give you more. They can't seem to give you more, but they want a second chance. They don't see a future with you anymore, not because they lost faith in you, because you lost faith in them and they lost faith in them to ever try to even be with you. That's the truth. They don't even see a future with anything for even themselves. With this type of behavior, when it comes to stability, it's literally showing the, like it literally showed the Knight of Cup, the Knight of, what is it? Pentacles. They're uninterested too. They're feeling like they're, they're lacking motivation. But you're coming up as the queen of pentacles when it comes to finances and money. This person is coming off like, I don't know, I don't want to do this anymore. Like they easily give up. I don't know who this is, but it seems very like, like they lack a lot in their life. All right, so your message is let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yes, yeah, someone, you can be forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moment. Yeah, you're releasing this person. I see you releasing. I see this person holding on and still being dishonest and still being the same as you left. Okay. So if you're thinking, oh my God, this person's doing this and this. No, it's just, that's what they want you to see. But really they're obsessing. Somebody's obsessing at night or there's a certain time where they're obsessing about you. Well, sometimes they could be even be talking really bad. All right. So let's get you your message. Bravery. I love it. And sore. You're being asked to make a tough decision that you have been putting off because of fear, which is understandable. But you do, ha but you do have the strength and bravery to make this decision. And you will feel so much lighter when you do. You're being asked to stop dimming your own light, period. It's time for you to come out of the shadows and let your authentic self soar. Fly high, my dear one. I love this for you. I do. You know, I feel like you're healing the past. You have come so far, you know, and somebody may, I mean, you, you are nobody's mother or like parent. Okay. But I feel like this was a freaking child you dealt with. I do. Just by how they're coming up. And I don't know, it's just very weird, but you do, they do have devil attached to them. So there's somebody really, really obsessing. Okay, that's all I'm seeing. But besides that, I feel like you're already surrendering this person. You're already letting go of them. It's just you getting back in alignment and feeling that spark again in your life because there could be a time of just feeling unmotivated and kind of just going with the flow, you know? And sometimes peace, like peace, like stability can be boring, but boring is peace, okay? So it's like being used to that peace that you're in and then just trusting the process of this healing process. All right, so I'm gonna leave this here for you. I hope this message does help and bring clarity. And if it did in any way, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon, God bless.